Hey there, it's Dave with FlipperForce. We just pushed up a new update to our project calendar and our project scheduler that adds in the ability for you to add events to manage appointments and meetings on your project calendar. So previously, the calendar could only be used to view your tasks that you have on the task manager tool and the project scheduling items that you have on your project scheduler, which is used to plan out major tasks and major repairs on your property. So you can use that to plan out your start dates and completion dates for your painting, your landscaping, your demolition work, stuff like that. So all of that data and information feeds over to the project calendar, but we really didn't have a good way to manage stuff like appointments or meetings on the property. So let's show you how you can set up an event to set up a meeting for your property. So let's say that we are closing on the property at 420 and we're going to be closing at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. It's not an all day event. And so we're going to change that to 420 and it's going to last about an hour. So we're going to set that up from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. on 420 for the bat house. So you can see once we get that set up, we've got a closing now that's set up for Monday at 1 o'clock p.m. So that's the power of the new events functionality is it can be a way for you to track appointments and meetings on your calendar. So instead of setting up tasks or schedule items, you can just set those events up directly on the calendar. Now, another thing that we changed and added to the project calendar was the ability to change the colors. So previously, all of the colors were automatically generated um, by our software, it would just randomly select a color, which would oftentimes result in a ugly yellow color, which made it hard to read. So now you can change those colors if you want to, to whatever you want. So that way it's easier for you to see or manage and see which um, color coded projects you've got in the, in the calendar view. Um, another thing that we added was the ability to print or share your calendar. So if you want to print your calendar to show what you've got going on in a given month or a given week, you can print that out to a PDF, share that with whatever project stakeholders you need to, or you can share it as a share link, which will generate a web page that you can send as a link to somebody and then they can log in and, and see your project calendar. Um, another thing that you can do on the project calendar now is you can also edit your tasks and your schedule items directly from the calendar. So previously you'd have to go over to the task manager to edit the content or data. You can now do that directly in the side panel. So if you click on a task, you can edit that content and information. You can change the date, um, add notes, add a comment, add an attachment. So you can now do that directly on the project calendar. If you do want to move something, you can also just simply drag and drop the task. So instead of needing to go back to the task manager to change the date, you can easily just drag and drop that. So if the date is different and you need to change that, you can do that here. Um, so that's a quick overview of the changes that we've made to the project calendar. What you'll notice on the project scheduler is we've made some changes over there as well. So you will notice that we have added some new functionality over here. Uh, first and foremost, you'll notice at the top, we've got these black bars. So those are project level tasks. So you can see our overall cosmetic rehab here. Um, you can see that you can set up um, overall project level tasks. So you can see our cosmetic rehab timeline is going to be 41 days. So that's the overall project is 41 days. We've got exterior work set up as another project that just to organize those tasks that are happening to the exterior of the property. Those are going to take nine days and then we've got our interior work at 34 days. Now one of the things that you can do now is you can just simply drag and drop entire project level tasks. So if you've got a grouping of tasks that you want to move, you can now move that entire grouping. Previously you had to go in and edit the individual tasks, but now you can move the entire grouping of tasks if you need to. So you can move the entire cosmetic rehab if you want to do it that way, or you can move just the exterior work or maybe the interior work, you can do it that way. So uh, that's some new functionality that we added in there. Um, and then we also added in this complete option. So you, we've got this complete column where you can mark items as complete. Um, so you can just uh, click on the ones as you 
go through the property as you complete that task you can mark it as complete and it will automatically designate that as complete so you know that that project and that task on the project has been completed so that's some functionality that we just pushed up to the project calendar and the project scheduler if you have any questions at all on any of these new improvements or have any kind of feedback for us please let us know